If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. No, no, no. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we seek to continue in your word, but it's hard. Please never abandon us, but continue to guide us in your word so that we might know the truth of your love. In your name we pray. Amen. How do you get a child to go where you want them to? <laughs> you laugh. Hopefully it's more than just because you know my children. It's a tough thing. Kim and I were talking this week about it. When you're trying to get a child to learn to speak, you prompt them. You say mama, dada, you say things you never say to adults. Right? I hope. How was your day, Pookie Poo? No. We prompt them. We lead them. As our Isaiah text says, we guide them by the hand. We take loving approaches to try and coax people or coax ourselves to where we need to be. God talks in Isaiah about guiding his people by the hand. But like children, there comes a time when we let go of the hand. And then the hope is, is that they continue. That's the hardest part, isn't it? Letting go and trusting that they'll be okay. Not grabbing back on as soon as they mess up. That's hard. That's very hard. Why do we do that? Why do we put these expectations on little ones? And then right when they're starting to get it, we let them go. I know. Well, God does that to us, or so it seems. The Old Testament, parts of the New Testament, are riddled with God raising up people, showing them the way, and then letting them go. And what happens? They fail. They fail. They mess up. God shows us what is good. We go to do it. We mess up. And then God comes back. God shows us what is good, sets us on the right path. We go to do it, we mess up. And God comes back. Until Christ comes. You see, there's a change. There's a huge dynamic shift in how the world works once Christ is born. The truth changes upon the birth of Christ. And this is how. Yeah. God never lets go again. Once Christ is born, for all time before and all time after, I'll answer metaphysical questions after church, Christ never lets go of our hands. We are shown what is good. We are shown what is right through trying to study the word, through the life, death, and resurrection of Christ. We are coaxed and taught, hopefully, to say the things we're supposed to say, to feel the things we're supposed to feel, to be who we need to be. But God never lets go. What that means is that we are never alone. When we hurt, when we cry, when we feel like that lost little child who just can't get it right, God is there holding our hand, wanting us to discover for ourselves what it is we need to do 
but is there to pick us up and love us, even at the moment we fail. Always forgiving. Always holding. Always loving. We are never alone when we are in the love of Christ. Jesus says in the gospel, if you are truly my disciples, you will continue in the word. And you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Two things in that statement. Number one, if you know the word, you will, be set, you will know the truth. Which means the truth is Four. the word. God will never lie to us. And through trusting in the word of God, we will be free. Free from our own sin. Free from blaming ourselves over and over again. We have a chance to free ourselves of that guilt. By letting Christ do what Christ came to do. Pick us up and forgive us. Let us continue in the word. Let us seek it and study it for truth. And let us always know that thanks to the love of God, we are never alone. That's the truth. Amen.